Um, my name is Marianne Malkan. I am a fine artist. I work primarily with print as a media. And I have my own little studio downstairs with my press and I'm creating works all throughout the pandemic. Actually influenced by my environment. Um, I've always spent a lot of time noticing things. Like I walk through the forest every day and I notice the little things like a raindrop on a leaf or a dandelion gone to seed or the spiral of a new fern. And I notice the impermanent aspect to life um, through that. And I notice the inherent geometry all around me. And so that translates into my work. My practice really um, explores the interconnectedness of the natural world as it collides with the way humans perceive it and how they value it. And I am also influenced by the creative community at large. Um, there is a creative flow when you're working with a group of people that I like to tap into. Winter Light was created in March, shortly after um, COVID-19 became very apparent for Canadians. I wanted to work with the attributes of light um, to foster a sense of hope for people. Um, the sun is always in the sky, whether we see it or not. And that constancy, con <laughs> the con constancy of cycles always inspires hope for me. And so my goal as an artist right now is to shine a little bit of light on the world. It's important. Reduction prints, um, uh, are often called the suicide method. And what that is, is um, you, I would carve the lightest part of the, the print of what I'd like to keep light first. And then I would move on to my next color and then, you know, my mid-tones and then finish with a darker color. And as you, you carve away from the block as you move through the process and it's an intricate process. I enjoy the hand carving. Um, combined with the mechanical act of printing through the press. So I usually like to create um, wherever I find myself. Um, I am, though, however, inspired by an artist uh, by the name of Hilma Ath Clint. She uh, was an abstractionist, a pioneer in abstraction at the turn of the century. Uh, her work is held in a museum in Sweden, so I would love to see her work um, live. I'd love to see the scale of her work and perhaps do a residency in the area, and that would be Sweden. My high school teacher taught me to look at art and life through the same lens, uh, that the process of art making is just as important as the final piece of art. He had me keep a process book um, that we would fill with ideas, sketches, words, anything we noticed, anything at all. And that was advice I really took to heart. And, and it's an important part of my practice today. 